Okay, so my head is cut off when we first come on. Um, so I'm Zakia of natural soap by Zakia.com. I make my own handcrafted natural soap and I'm also the founder. Still my head's cut off. What in the tarnation? My head keeps getting cut off, Paige. That's not gonna work. How's that? Let's see. Maybe if I pull the table back some. Hmm. Let me see. Back, back, forth, and forth. Oh, two people are here now. I don't think I've gone natively live on YouTube in a long time, so I'm not sure how the comments come up. There she is, Miss Frances, first in line, like always. Miss Frances is a part of Soap Nation, by the way. Um, so I'm Zakia. I am doing, in this page, I am doing a marathon soap making broadcast. I'm watching you on the big TV. She's watching me on the big TV page. You No, that's what she said. <laughs> Don't scream. All right. So, um, a marathon live stream. I got to get my head. A marathon live stream is me broadcasting. Let me see. Bring you up. Hopefully that works. It's me broadcasting um, 120 pounds of soap in one night. So, guys aren't going to be able to see my hat, but that's okay. You can see my face. You can see the table, which is the most important part. So, so far, we have done um, a lemongrass soap. And this over here, I had to get a thumbnail for the live stream. I think I'll be able to change it later. Streaming you on YouTube through the Roku and TV. This is so cool. So I'm on the big, big screen, which is really cool. Paige, stop it. So if any of you are new, catching this after we are not live. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about us. We are not your typical soap-making broadcast. Hey, Dryer Buzz, checking in. Um, we have a four-year-old that will not quit. Um, I don't typically have you directly over my table, but you will be able to see everything that I am doing. Feel free to drop a comment in after the broadcast. Head over to the blog at livesoapschool.com because this will probably turn into a blog entry. And you can post any comments there. I will update the description once that is live. So we are doing a total of 120 pounds. So we've done the activated charcoal and tea tree. Paige, you got to stop running. I'm so serious. Enough. I'm done. I'm over it. So she's going to slowly walk behind the ball. So this is the one that we did a little bit earlier. This is six pounds in a tall and skinny mold. And it's getting this beautiful, beautiful color. It's not really coming across. Well, it is. You are seeing the black there. It's getting this color from the charcoal that I added into the recipe. And then I used a heavy punch of tea tree essential oil in order to get the remainder um, of the properties that we wanted in that soap. Then what we did on the last broadcast, and I will put that on the blog too, we did a 30 pound batch of our lemongrass soap with a taste of Experiment in there to bring down some of the lemon zest of lemongrass. So now what we're doing are two smaller batches because that's a little more maintainable. It's kind of quick. Paige, no more. I'm going to take the ball. No, well, ball. cut it. No, my ball. Um, hello, Laura. You found us on the YouTube side. Hello there. Laura, are you subscribed? Are you watching this replay? Are you subscribed? Make sure you hit wherever the button is. I will find out. I'm going to push here so I know point that way, which I'm pointing to my right. Click that button that says subscribe or click right there that says subscribe. Do one of those. And make sure your notifications are turned on. We were on um, Periscope and someone said, I'm subscribed, but I never know when you're live that means that youtube has something called notifications and you got to turn those on as well 
But for any of you that are brand spanking new, you are catching this because you just so happen to be interested in soap and I, you have fallen on this broadcast. My name is Zakia Ringgold. I have been making soap now for three years and it got started by me live streaming on Twitter. I'm loving the YouTube. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She's loving it. Um, it got started by me live streaming on Twitter. And at the time, it was an application called Periscope, which was later brought out by Twitter. And now, my soap has shipped to over 16 countries and all over the United States, thanks to the power of live streaming. I am also the author of three soap making books, which are all available on Amazon. And I will link to this in the description as well. But it's the new Soap Makers Cookbook series, which is created for brand new soap makers and seasoned soap makers alike. If you get all three books, you get a total of 30 recipes. But they are the new Soap Makers Cookbook Ingredients for Success. It is also the new Soap Makers Cookbook Making Cold Processed Soap from Scratch. And then it's also the new Vegan Soap Cookbook. All three of these are available on Amazon. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash soap books, it'll take you to my author page. Miss Francis, those comments are about two point font. I can't see yet. So I think I'm probably going to have to get my laptop. Let's grab the laptop because you guys don't want to be on a live stream if I can't actually see what you're saying. So the only way we'll be able to do that is drop a scale. Drop a scale. Hold on guys because it's no fun if I can't actually see what you're saying and talk to you. Um, YouTube is not typically my jam. YouTube seems to be that platform where you have to be really, really polished. You got to have the scenes coming in and out and all of that. So I have stayed away. It's not my thing. However, I have been using YouTube for embedding my videos into the blog at Live Soap School. So not only do I have the three books on how to make soap, I also blog about my journey at LiveSoapSchool.com. So if you're interested in figuring out how did that girl go from not making soap to shipping soap all over the world, it's on the blog over there. I'll link to that too. So I'm, these are all cues for me after I watch the replay of this of what I need to be linking in the description below. So what we're going to do is Lavender Tranquility. This is my number four best-selling soap. I have several that sell very well. But this one, there's something very soothing and calming about Lavender Tranquility. And people seem to love it. Okay, it says live. We got six people? Who's here? Somebody got to check in and tell. I know Miss Francis is here. I know Miss Francis is here. You want to know how I know? Because she's talking to me. Guys, I know you're not used to talking on YouTube. That's not typically your jam. That's not what you do. But when I live stream, it's not like regular broadcast. I really want to talk to you and see you and interact with you. Okay, Miss Francis, you are helping out with all of the links. Thank you so much. Others can see the links for Amazon. Natural Soap by Zakia to purchase from Zakia. Dryer Buzz was checking in. Okay, so I don't know who the other seven people are, but whoever you are, welcome to Soap Nation. And we're going to go ahead and get started because the replay is a little bit different. I know you guys want to say, okay, get to it. So whatever this minute mark is, I know you got to scroll. You are so welcome. I am so appreciative of it. Um, you got to scroll on here. It doesn't automatically scroll for you, so... That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a real deal problem when it actually comes time for mixing up soap. Because I'm not getting raw soap on my laptop. So that's the other part of that. So I have melted down the oils. There are some chunks in there. But the live solution is hot enough where it should melt them down with the heat transfer method. 
but overall we are in really good shape for doing the soup so i have this is using my basic recipe and then i added a couple of things to it as well that is available in my um new soap maker cookbook it's the basic recipe in there it's a three for three and then i added two butters hey i'm competing with you no good. All right, I gotta dry this out. This is the same pot that we just used on the last broadcast. So what I need to do is dry it out. And the one thing, it was very difficult for me to do a quick change. And what I realized is I need more stock pots. I don't have enough stock pots in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get maybe about four more stock pots. I will be opening a store very, 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 very soon. And we will definitely have to increase production for that. And so the stock pots do help. The largest batch of soap that I have ever made was, I think 40 pounds. But typically my, my big batches are 30 pounds. And then these here that we're doing, these are the essential deco molds. Um, these are six pounds. So I do add sodium lactate to my live solution when I am using these molds because sometimes I do use a lot of soft oils and they tend to stick um, in the silicone molds. I don't have that problem in the wooden molds, but in the silicone molds in particular, the sodium lactate helps to release that a whole lot better. So with these oils melted down, and I always try and keep like a little piece of parchment paper so I don't have soap all over the place. I'll pull this back so you can actually see it there. Yeah, so all of my ingredients are there. We will be using a purple mica colorant to give us the purple color in there. And then I also have some white titanium dioxide. Now I always have, um, issues when it comes to mixing my titanium dioxide sometimes it clumps up other times um it just doesn't blend well and i am using an oil soluble titanium dioxide so what i try to do is warm it up um i'll take a little bit of the oil that i'm using for the mixture and i'll add that into the titanium dioxide and i'll put this in the microwave for like five seconds and typically because the oil is hotter, that does help for the TV to um, disperse a little bit better in the oil. So if you are having clumping issues or it's not blending well, consider putting it in the microwave. I have not put this in the microwave. So as you can see on my itty bitty um, spatula, there are some chunks of it. So I just have to make sure that I blend it very well once I add it into the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer both of these buckets of melted oils into one large stock pot. What about adding poly 80? Would that help? Look at me looking from class notes. Well, poly 80 is typically used for bath bombs. I've never used poly sorbate 80 in, um, in in cold process soap making. But typically you use the poly 80 in order to actually have your oils disperse better in the tub and so that the color is incorporated well. So that's what the poly 80 is for and the sodium lactate. Or if you don't have sodium lactate, use a little bit of table salt. Table salt is a cheaper alternative and it helps your bars to get harder. So you can use either one, but since I have the polysorbate 80, I'm sorry, the sodium lactate, that's what I'm using. Now, the one thing about transferring the oils from one container to another is remember, soap making is a pretty exact science. You are accounting for all of those ingredients in your recipe. So if you don't completely scrape out all of the oils, you could potentially have a lye heavy soap. So you'll notice that when I am doing the transfer, I try and do a whole lot of scraping so that nothing remains in the um, bowl. 
You're not going to get it all, but try and get as much as you can if you are transferring to make a larger batch. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these in. And now you can see that's where some of the harder oils were in here and they weren't completely melted, which is absolutely fine. That lye solution is definitely going to be hot enough to melt those. I am getting nervous with my laptop right here. I am getting a little bit nervous because raw soap spilling is no good. And definitely not on my laptop. I use my laptop for everything, like most of us do. I'm trying to think, what did we do before laptops or before a computer? Nothing. We went outside. That's what we did. All right, so we now have those all poured out and ready to go. I'm going to reuse those because we're going to separate the colors. We're going to have a purple batch and we're going to have a white batch. I do want to move my laptop over. Even though I do want to see what you guys are saying, I don't want to wake up crying tomorrow because I have spilled soap on my laptop. So it's there. I can still see it. Maybe put some saran wrap over the top of the laptop. If I had some close enough, that's a great suggestion. But it's far enough out of the way now so that we shouldn't have any problems. If you guys are catching this on a replay and you still haven't subscribed, you've gotten to the halfway mark, you probably want to click that subscribe button because it only gets better from here. It only gets better. Now, I am really pushing it with this pot. My oils are about here. When I add my lye solution in, it's going to go here. As you can see, my stick blender comes to just about the brim. So this is going to be a very interesting broadcast for you and me. Or actually, it's definitely gonna be interesting for me. Hopefully you find it interesting. I don't know, we should be okay. We should be just fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Stir this up, give it a light stir. You just never want the oils in the water to come above where the stick blender attaches. And we're gonna go ahead and get that thing going. Now, let's see if I can lower you just a taste because this part you might want to see inside the pot. Don't do that though. What did I just say? You don't want it to go there. Here, let me pull you down just a little bit so you can see in the pot. You'll kind of see. No, you still can't see. So, I ruined it for no reason. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. That's the interesting part about live. Being live. All right. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see it when I go to um, pour it out. This is that magical sound that every soap maker loves. That sound of that stick blender coming on. Oh, Miss Francis, you said you guys can see.
Now, I did do a heavy water discount on this one as well. I'm going to go ahead and add our scent in now. We're at a not even. Yeah, that's a very light trace, which is exactly where I'm going to stop. Because if I keep going, what will happen is it'll get really thick, really. It's going to get thick really quick anyway, which is why I don't have the time or the luxury to do any fancy swirls. It's really um, a quick process, which is why we were okay for going live on here. I'm going to go ahead and add in the lavender essential oil. I kind of want to stick blend that in just to make sure it's very well incorporated. Maple, it looks like a Cuisinart. Yes, this is, yes. This is a, Zakia, what brand stick blender is that? This is a Cuisinart before they ruined them. If you guys are soap makers, I need a new stick blender company because they put that little button on the top now, which is very annoying to work with because on the one hand it works. So if you have a brand that you absolutely love, send it my way. You can send me the stick blender if you choose, but you can let me know the name of the kind that you use in the comments. Because I need an alternative. I am pushing it with these stock pots, guys. I am really pushing it. And so is Paige with that dag on ball. What did I say? You know how on every soap making video they will say, make sure there's no kids around. The problem with that statement is she's been around since she was one years old making soap. Oh, she hasn't been making soap, but she's been around. What can you say? <laughs> she loves making soap. So she's the exception to the rule. But if you're brand new and let's say you have like a three year old, I wouldn't advise that they are very close to you while you are making your products. That's probably not um, the best thing you can do. Now, I have my other thing in here, and I just want to make sure there's nothing at the bottom. There's a little bit of the oil left over, but I'm okay with that part. I just don't want, you know how there's like dust at the bottom? of your bowls. I don't want that to be in here. So I just wiped it out just to give me a clean surface. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. My table is still on a slant, guys. Before it starts getting too thick. And I'm just doing half and half. Half of it, well that's a little more than half. A little less than half, actually. Just so I can put color in both sides of it. Did you hear her say stop? Discontinue. Discontinue what you are doing right now. All right, so we're gonna make this side white with our TD. And TD, guys, is just short for titanium dioxide. I have soap makers in here, so they already know that. But if you're brand new and you kind of stumble on this broadcast at some point or on this video, when I say TD, I am referring to titanium dioxide I am going to grab the stick blender one more time and this is typically where I go wrong if I were to hand stir this I probably would have more time it's thickening up I gotta find that point where it'll be fine and I always go too far always And you know what I think? I didn't over measure it again. I think I didn't over measure it. I ain't, I'm not gonna need all this soap. But I have more molds, so it will not go to waste. Get away, she didn't told you to stop. Thanks, Nyla. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour our white as much as we can. 
hopefully you guys can see when it goes in. And we're just going to do a simple drop swirl in here. I'm going to get primarily the white in at the bottom. Then I'm going to grab some purple. Yeah, it wants to thicken. It wants to. What did I say? I'm not going to blend it too much. I think I'm actually going to... I got to look at that recipe again. I got to look at that. I think I over it. Yeah, it looks like you need more molds up there. Well, I will use my... Um, I have my really long... That's what it was. This was not just... That's, that's right. I have my... Um, my sample the sample mold over there so that makes sense now I'm like, why do i have so much i have that sample mold waiting because i do um a four pack sample soap set so people are able to try the soap out however this is where again i'm gonna probably Ruin the bag. You can't ruin so guys. There's always some you can always say that. That's not blended. Miss Francis said, yeah, I think you're gonna need a couple more molds. That's a lot of soap you got hanging out. You know what, at the halfway point, I should have poured some of that color in so it could get down to the bottom. I feel like all of my color is right there at the top of the mold. They got a new one at Kohl's without the top button. Is it a new brand or is it, did they hear enough of us soap makers complaining about it? <laughs> Now, sometimes you can use a spatula, other times when time isn't, time is never on my side when I try and go big. Now that's nowhere near a drop squirrel. That's like a layer. That is like a layer that we just did. Hopefully the next one will be a drop squirrel. I'm kind of glad these um, bowls are right in front of me because my shirt's coming up. I'm getting soap all over the table. Regular brand, I think they heard our complaints about that button. Like, why would you do that? I'm making a little bit of a mess. I'm going to wipe it up. Just a quick tap on that one. I'm gonna swap them out. Definitely not a drop swirl, guys. More of a white on the bottom, purple on the top. Now, what I could do is grab a spoon, but I need to get the rest of this into the sample bar. One more pack. I'm going to grab a little more of this white here. Or try to. Holy moly. Okay. What did I say on the earlier broadcast? <laughs> Maple flag. Maybe I won't do a two to one water discount. You don't get much time. 
Yeah. Yeah, I put it in there. That was last week, Paige. All right. Let me grab this one. I forgot. I forgot we were doing a sample loaf as well. So this here is the mold that I use to do my hotel size bars. I'm going to slide that in here. And I'm just going to plop this so I can get it all in. That's why we had so much soap, guys. I'm like, uh-oh. That's not going to work. And this will give me about 50 bars of sample size soap. It's so long. I still got soap though. I think I think we we think we did that wrong. How about that wire swirl thing? Hanger swirl. Yeah, I could do that too if I knew where that daggone hanger thing was. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab a spoon. A spoon swirl should work if it's not too thick. We'll find out in a second. But it felt like it was getting pretty thick a moment ago. Now my math works. Before, I wasn't so sure. One more of this white here. So we actually made 18 pounds, guys. 18 pounds. Perfect for Mother's Day and spring. Yeah, lavender is like one of those all around ones, but you're absolutely right. Easter would be good for these and I'll show you the size of the sample bars in a second and I typically try and do at least one sample batch for every batch of soap that I make and I still have a little bit of soap in that pot a bit of soap in that part. All right, I definitely have to tap this. Give me one second. And just so you can get an idea of how long that is, great to add to gift baskets. Ooh, good idea. So as you can see, that one is the length of two of these molds, this one hotel size one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spoon because I don't know where our hanger tool is. Hold on. I have one soap spoon that we use here. Guys, you know the rule. If you use it for soap making, it can't be used and for any do, other purposes. And do not eat soap. Don't, don't get sick. Yes, we definitely don't want to eat soap. Because we'll get sick. So I'm just taking the spoon and trying to pull some of that white up to the purple and some of that purple down to the white. You can overdo it. And if you've ever been with me on a live stream, I overdo it quite a bit. I overdo it quite a bit. 
but what do they say it's just an artistic element of the soap that's all it is no it was a mistake that we're calling an artistic element and i'm probably introducing quite a bit of air bubbles doing it this way I think you're right. The hanger probably would have worked out much better. All right, we got to tap it again to try and eliminate any of those air bubbles and get it even. I'm going to grab some of this here just to get some more color on the top or just another dimension on the top and so I don't waste the soap it's there we might as well use it and that'll give us another color on the top of the soap where or where is the where oh where is our hanger tool darn it And this is how you can fake a swirl on the top of your soap. Just add some more color. Yes. Grab your spoon and pull that thing through. Don't worry about making it perfect because perfect is the biggest illusion there is. So we're going to try and do the same thing over here. I just pulled a ton of my soap out. You know, there's a hashtag on Instagram called Wet Soap Wednesday. This would probably work very well for that hashtag. When will pre-orders be up? This is probably going to go once I take it to the event. I can't wait to do the cutting video. This is better than watching a movie. Love watching this on my big screen TV through that smart app. So you can watch this on Roku. Um, so this is probably going to go at my event. I have a local event. And so I'm assuming that this is probably not going to make it to the website. And then this is also going into the store. So when I first, so I'm going to have to make more. This isn't even, I have Lavender Tranquility already available. I'll show you those. Um, this is just, so I have a little more color. I, I like to have more color at um, events. That kind of gets people's attention. And they want to stop over.
Paige. I you sound incredible. I sing the different voices. I sing the different ones. I sing the different ones. Which one you sing that time? Oh, oh, I I know. I heard it. I heard it. It's like sis. It's like black sheep. Black. It's like white sheep. White sheep. Have we any more? Yes, man. Yes, man. We have one for the man. So it's telling me nine people are watching. I know Miss Francis is here. Maple Flag is here. If you're just hanging out, like, what in the world is this girl doing? Why do I hear? Agree. Um, why do I hear a four-year-old? My name is Zakia. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'm pretty new to actually live streaming here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe because I'm probably going to do it more often. And then that way you'll get notified. And hopefully you won't be such a quiet stranger next time. I'll get you to actually talk to me. Unless you're watching on Roku and then maybe you can't comment. Um, but I am typically not a broadcaster that just kind of likes to talk to herself. I like to talk to you while you are here. Um, I'm kind of friendly. Don't bite. Unless you ask me to. No, I'm just kidding. I don't bite. Um, Laura and Dryer Buzz were here as well. So Laura and Dryer Buzz, they're all coming over from our Periscope Soap Nation side. But those numbers are telling me that some of you are on the YouTube side. Oh, Lorraine is here too. Another member of Soap Nation checking in. Thanks for being here, Lorraine. All right, I think those are about done. And I'll bring them closer because you kind of just see me playing around with the soap now. You're not really seeing what it is that I'm doing. I'm just taking the back of the spoon to try and get any kind of texture that will stay on the soap. And so it doesn't kind of look like a mistake. That's the real goal. All right. Not all right for you, Paige. I'm saying all right, I'm done. Um, I do have a little bit of soap in here, which I will put in small circular molds. We're up to 10 people watching. All of you are cool. Make sure you subscribe. Um, so I'm Zakia. You have now joined for the second leg of our marathon soap making. Do you have to bang them again for air bubbles? Well, I, I only did the top at that point. I haven't disturbed the inside, and I've banged them about twice, so it should be okay. We probably will get some air bubbles in there. Good evening, Mrs. Francis, and everyone else. So let me bring these up to the camera so you can actually see them. Okay, so, oh, you can kind of see them from there. But that is what it looks like. It's kind of cool. It smells great. Lavender is one of those soaps that you can't, page, quiet, that you can't go wrong with. Um, people love it or they hate it, but more often than not, if they are asking for a soap, it will probably be a lavender soap. It's one of those essential oils that people are just familiar with. It's one of the most popular ones. Um, it's a very calming and soothing scent, like I said a little bit earlier. I always have soap on my hands. Lucy, hey Zakia, I keep forgetting that you are on YouTube. I know. Well, I'm not always live on YouTube. More likely than not, I'm repurchasing the videos from Periscope, like you mentioned. Um, but we're live tonight because I'm actually marathoning this soap making to get 150 plus pounds of soap made in one night. So tonight what we were doing, we're on this particular broadcast here on YouTube, we were doing the lavender tranquility, not just for soap bathing, but I put a bar in my dresser drawers making everything smell great. And you know what, Miss Francis, um, Yolanda of Dryer Buzz, she had mentioned that it's an old wives tale that if you are having leg pains, you can put a bar of soap, I think she said, on the end of your bed or something along those lines. 
Um, wow, that's quite a challenge. We're almost there. We got two more 30 pound batches and we have knocked it out. So I'm going to show you what we have actually accomplished thus far, which is kind of good. I got two more 30 pound batches up next. So we'll be heading over to Natural Soap by Zakia on Facebook, um, where I'm going to move this over, where I will move on and do the activated charcoal and kaolin clay. No, I'll do the peppermint. I need a little more color going on here. Um, we are listening to the music, also known as Paige. Um, and here is this one. Look, this is the length of my arm. That's how long this mold is. Like from the tip of my fingernail to my shoulder bleed. Facebook is next. Yes, we will be on Natural Soap by Zakia on Facebook. That's a cool shot of those right there and we'll be doing the peppermint one so we have some new color to add so aside from these let me wipe the table just so i can bring the lemon up here and tomorrow when we go well probably sunday super soap sunday we will cut all of this soap we will cut all of this soap i'm going to take them out of the molds tomorrow um, so that I can just keep on knocking them out. But on Super Soap Sunday, we will do a multi-stream to Periscope, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So whatever platform you prefer to watch on, you can catch us because we'll do a multi-stream on all the platforms simultaneously. So I'm just trying to wipe this off so that I can bring up our 30 pounder that we did on Twitter. A little while ago and that one is our lemongrass one how wide are those sample bars so the sample bars typically end up this size so they're less than I would say they're a quarter inch wide if that wide I don't have my um I don't have my ruler but this is how they end up my twitch handle is soap lady huh let's go to twitch and see what it is I definitely don't live stream on there. That is strictly multi-streaming. Um, Twitch has a requirement where you're not really supposed to multicast. They want you strictly and exclusively on their broadcast. But I am not an affiliate or an associate yet on Twitch. So they're not as strict with the rules with me. But once I get to associate level, um, then I won't be able to multi-stream. It'll just be solely or exclusively on Twitch when I decide to live stream on there. Uh, I need a glove. Because I have raw soap on the table. Oh cool, great for my grandkids. Oh, I was supposed to be finding my Twitch handle for Maple Flag. If you are on Twitch, please make sure that you sub... If, here's the thing that I found out about Twitch. Well, I probably shouldn't share it now because you can't subscribe to me. But if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription every month to your favorite Twitcher. I don't know what they're called on Twitch. Um, why won't Twitch open? What the heck? This is what I want. At some point, it'll open Maple Flag, and I'll be able to tell you. But I think it's like Zakia Soap Lady. I think. I changed it like three times. I need the other glove because that's so good. They're all great for my grandkids. What you put handle? Did I miss anything else? We got 10 folks. Who else is here? So we got Laura, Lorraine, Maple Flag, Miss Francis. I know all of you. And I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad you're all here. All right. It'll help with the watch time. Like YouTube, they got a whole lot of rules. For broadcasters you got to have a certain number of subscribers you got to have a certain amount of watch time you know what I wish I would have had the foresight Lucy is here thank you Miss Francis I wish I would have had the foresight maybe about a year ago 
when I was streaming a whole lot more than I am now to go live the same time on YouTube. Because now it's like starting from scratch all over again. Who wants to do that? Not I, said the captain. All right. So, I mean, I wasted a lot of food. So, this kind of helped. There was a certain part of the table that didn't get soap all over it. But there's plenty of the rest of the table that got plenty of soap all over the place. Hey there, Lucy. Now, I will have to spray this down with vinegar and some hot soapy water, but for purposes of getting a great shot that I can update my Instagram story. If you are on Instagram, I'm on there too. I'm Natural Soap by Zakia on Instagram. And so I'm just clearing this off so that I can take a picture of halfway there. We are halfway there. We got two more of these batches to do. Give me one second. Somebody just did something on YouTube. Hold on. I got to pick it up because it's like right here on this little lift. Hold on. Oh, oh that's heavy. Don't drop the soap. Guys. Oh, I don't think I lifted that correctly. Oh. This one is the 30 pound of our lemon grass soap. And this also has spearmint essential oil in there. So we are we are at the halfway mark. Hi dear. What is can I use in the place of the lye as I'm prohibited from bringing in lye? So you are going to have to make your own lye the old fashioned way with wood ashes. So Lucy, um, I'll do another broadcast here on YouTube to show you how to make your own lye. Um, it's very time consuming, but you must use lye in order to make soap. So this is what we got so far. Paige, chill out. You need like a sleeping aid. I'm not giving her a sleeping aid. I shouldn't, but I will. All right, so we have, no, chill, one second. So we have the activated charcoal and tea tree. We have the lavender tranquility, which are these here. We also have the lemongrass and spearmint. Next up, we are going to have another batch, this same size, which is going to end up being four loaves of soap. And that's going to be our peppermint soap. Peppermint is my number two best-selling soap. My number one, hands down, is Triple Butter Blend. That one is my 100% all-natural soap. It is made with cocoa butter, mango butter, and shea butter on top of my proprietary formulation of other oils. Um, but that one, people absolutely love. Most of my soaps are actually just in addition to where I'm adding a scent or a color. But that formulation of Triple Butter Blend has been like a godsend for so many people. Um, smorgasbord of soaps. Absolutely. Definitely a smorgasbord here. And by the end of the night, we will have two more. Our peppermint is next up. We'll be heading over to Facebook at Natural Soap by Zakia to do the peppermint soap. And then we will end up on Instagram Live doing our activated charcoal and kale and clay. So I'm Zakia. You can see all of the soaps that I have available by going to naturalsoapbyzakia.com. If you are interested in reading about this journey, the supplies that I use, the ingredients that I use, head over to livesoapschool.com, which is my website where I blog a bit. I also have online classes to help you with soap making. I have a ton of books to help you with soap making. And most importantly, it is so much more than soap. And become a part of Soap Nation by subscribing. Top two, triple butter blend and peppermint. OMG, making your own lye is a harder than it sounds. Getting enough out of the process, ash and water is the problem. Yep, it's very time consuming. But she's in an island. 
and they can't import the lye. I would check because if they have pools, you can probably find lye at a pool cleaner or like a drain cleaner kind of place. But we'll talk and see what you have available locally. But you cannot make soap without lye unless you're doing the pre-made bases, which are melt and pour. But then you're not picking your own ingredients. And if you were to make your own melt and pour, then you still have to use lye because that's just an advanced process for hot process soap making which requires sodium hydroxide um next up facebook so if you guys are interested in seeing us tackle our peppermint soap sounds like page didn't fell we'll be going live on facebook in about 20 minutes make sure you are liking the page over there at natural soap by zakia because that's where i'll be live and if we're connected i'm going to share it on my personal page too all right, everybody, thank you for tuning in on the YouTube side and click the subscribe button. It's either there or there. And I'll be back live on here on Sunday, Super Soap Sunday. But, you know, this lives on forever. And don't mind my shirt. If you are one of those trolls, let's talk about the trolls that be on YouTube before I get off of here. If you are a troll, like you couldn't clean your shirt, my shirt got dirty because we were making this soap and it got a little extra. But typically I have on cleaner clothes when I'm live streaming. So if you're a troll, save your comment. Because normally I can come back and I can block you pretty quickly. But any comment is a good comment. I'm Zakia. Bye guys. Hey, and Paige. We'll see you later. Pose, Mom. Oh. There's my pose. She said, pose, mom. You got to tell them what to do if they want to see more videos, Paige. If you 